So we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of one point perspective. And so in one point perspective, you will have a, a horizon line with a single vanishing point. And so with one point perspective, you have either vertical lines, horizontal lines, or diagonal lines. And those diagonal lines typically go to your vanishing point. So this handout can be found on the Canvas site if you're so interested in it. It goes through how to do all of these things step by step. Um, it shows you how to do it if it was on the top right corner. And so you would have to translate all of these things um, to the different locations according to where it's placed um, alongside the horizon line. So let's go ahead and begin. I'm gonna go ahead and turn here so that I have this as a guide um, for what we're gonna do inside them. So I'm gonna make a few different videos. So for this time, we're gonna go ahead and put the horizon line right in the middle of our page. And then in that middle of the page, we're gonna make a little X so that we have a small point and that's gonna be our vanishing point. So what I'd like you to do first is to start with three rectangles on the top, three rectangles on the horizon and three rectangles below the horizon. They don't have to be the same size. I would suggest that they be at least an inch um, across and down. So if yours go a little crooked, you can fix them. I'm working kind of at a strange angle, so hopefully they're, they're looking straight. Actually, since I'm gonna do letters on this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and make it look a little wider. Maybe to make it faster, you could just line it up like this too. If you go crooked, you can always clean it up with your eraser. Notice that I'm using my ruler. You don't want to not use your ruler. This way it ensures that you have nice straight lines. Any extra lines that you have, you can always just erase them away. lines you can get rid of the lines through you could also just keep them so that you can see where things line up so let's go ahead and take these two-dimensional rectangles and we're gonna make them look three-dimensional so you might notice that all of these diagonal lines seem to be angling towards the vanishing point so you're gonna carefully go ahead and take, if this is on the top, right? So if this is on the top, and sometimes you can take something that's rectangular to kind of look at it. So if this is on the top, you're gonna see the sides and the bottom of the object. So you would connect the corners, so the bottom corners to that vanishing point. 
and you decide how far back you'd want this to go. Now, if you're drawing, you know, a building or whatnot, or you have a photo reference, that will help you sometimes decide on your dimensions. But you wanna make sure you adjust the ruler every time you move it so that it aligns to your vanishing point. And then once you have all these lines, right, going to your vanishing point, you're going to mimic. So if this vertical line, if this is a vertical line in the front, it has to be a vertical line in the back, right? Because these lines would be parallel. And then if this is horizontal, you're gonna slide this down here, and this would be horizontal. So when you have something above your horizon, your horizon is your line of vision. You would see underneath of it, and if it's to the left of you, you'd see the right as well as the bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead and do one that is on the right side of the vanishing point, and now it's on the horizon. So I take these two corners that are closest to the vanishing point, and line them up too this point on the horizon where our eyes can no longer see. I didn't quite line this up, so I'm gonna fix this here. All right, so if this is on the horizon, you wouldn't see above it or below it, you would just to see to the side. And then I'm gonna do one directly underneath the vanishing point. So these corners are gonna go back into space. They're gonna to angle to that vanishing point. And so if this is horizontal, horizontal, this back one has to be horizontal as well. Okay, so if it is directly in line with it, you're only gonna see maybe the front and the top or the front and the bottom. So go ahead and see if you can do this part as well as add dimension to the rest of these. See if you can do it on your own. If you need assistance, you can follow along as I do the rest of them, but it's always good to see that you can then just apply your knowledge. So I'm lining up to the vanishing point. Go to horizontal, since the front is horizontal, the back's gonna be horizontal too.
Okay, so now we've taken nine rectangles and we've made them into nine box forms. So notice once again that when things are on the horizon, you only see the fronts and then depending on if it's on the left, you would see the right side. If it's on the right of your vanishing point, you would see the left side. And then we're, this is your eye level, once again, this horizon. So anything above you, you'd see underneath of it. And anything below you, you'd see the tops of it. Feel free to always take something that's a box form and throw it like I often will throw things on the floor so that I can see the front and the top or a whole front and the top. And I'll hold things up in the air so that I can see underneath of it as well. We'll continue in a couple other videos.